Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about NGRX, not specifically how you can create actions, reducers and dispatch your actions because I've already created a video. This is the first video. I'm going to give the link of this video in the description below. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about mainly how you can debug your NGRX code. So NGRX is an awesome uh, tool where you can use the Redux uh, to manage your states, right? The states for the data, right? So what are the different tools uh, we can use to debug our code? So first of all, I'm going to be opening up my VS code. I've already created an empty Angular project. I want to start off with creating a uh, a store and importing it in my module because I want to give you an uh, kickstart how you so you uh, refresh your mind that how we created uh, stores in angular right so first of all what you need to do here is you need to install few packages so in here let me just enter in grx debugging and npm install hyphen hyphen save and the first package you need to install is ngrx store because using this package we are going to be creating a store so before it installs i'm going to open up app module and i'm going to import store module from here so store module this is the exact name of the package and uh, now you can like ngrx store right so here uh, you're gonna add it over here and for root it expects an object so the object here is a uh, we can it is a key value pair and uh, uh, we 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 can like pass it any reducer right so to give it a reducer uh, we can give it a counter as a value of name and for the reducer let me create a reducer above so const counter reducer we could create it in a separate file but um, I'm creating it right here right so we have a function it contains a state and an action as a parameters state contains the initial value for this counter reducer an action is going to uh, contain what is the type of action being performed and the value inside it so switch action dot type case increment return state plus action dot payload payload is the data which is being passed in the action An action is going to have two keys one is type another is payload which is the data right and default is return right i'm going to copy the name of it and i'm gonna paste it over here so this is the counter reducer i've just created right we can have multiple reducers and we can have it comma separated key value pairs for each reducer right but this video is not about how you can create ngrx this video is about how you can debug your code so that's why i'm only uh, building up the smallest application using ngrx right so let's save this module and uh, now let's open up app component and here uh, I'm going to importing few of the packages. So let's import these two packages, right? And uh, I'm going to create two of the variables over here which is the counter and all the observables are end with the dollar sign so that's it is a recommended practice so that's why i've created it in this way and this is the current count which i'm going to use to like uh, store the current value uh, of the store right 
and uh, now I can create a constructor constructor is going to have a store and store and here uh, let me add create an interface above it so interface app state counter number right so this store is of type app state because counter is the name of a uh, reducer that we have stored in the app module this is because we are using typescript and we need to take care of the type it's going to help me out when i start writing something it's going to help me out that this is the app state this, these are the key value pairs it contains right uh, yeah so we have the store and here uh, we we can add a reference this dot counter equals to this dot store dot select and i'm going to select the key which i have added over here this is the name of that key counter so i need to pass it as it is over here right um okay so now this dot counter dot subscribe value and this dot current counter equals to the value and i'm gonna log this now so this dot current count this right this is all for debugging one way to debug your code is to subscribe uh, your store and uh, you can output this value this is the simplest and uh, sometimes it really helps uh, if you want to debug your code and output your value right but we're going to talk talking about the advanced level tools for uh, debugging and grx right so on init now i'm going to create a function increment and uh, i'm going to store dot dispatch type increment and payload and i'm going to increment the current counter if it is even this is just a logic you can simply add one over here right i'm just trying something uh, different so one and two if it is even then uh, send the value one to that uh, store that is existing with the name of counter and if it is not even then pass the value two to it right and uh, now let's go over here i'm going to remove everything inside it and uh, i'm going to add a div class card and inside it h1 my ngrx and after that i'm not gonna create a fancy thing over here so let me add a counter and it is a subscription so i'm gonna pass async okay uh here if i don't want to add async i've already uh added this one we can also bind it with this thing right but i'm not gonna do it now so button click equals to increment increment right so i think that's pretty much it let me just run it so our project has been compiled localhost colon 4200 and uh, now we have this console uh, if i increment here we have this value 2 if i go over here 3 5 7 9 and now you are you can see that we are incrementing the value but you are not sure where it is being fetched from right so let's go and start debugging if we how we can like debug and check our store uh, what was in the store what have what was sent as a part of actions and what the reducer did in our code right so 
uh, one thing you can do is, is just add the console log or you can just add the breakpoints in each of your files, but that's not enough. Okay. So let's go to our code and uh, yeah. So now you require some kind of package for this. So the package name here is npm install hyphen hyphen save and uh, ngrx forward slash store dev tools. Okay. So meanwhile, uh, we can install an extension in Chrome that is required for this uh, package to work actually. So uh, the name of that extension is Redux Dev Tools. If I go over here and you can see Redux Dev Tool, right? So I've already installed it. I would request you guys to go ahead and install this particular uh, extension of Chrome. Uh, it is available in other browsers as well. If you are using another browser, you can find this extension there as well. Okay. So just go ahead, Redux Dev Tool. Uh, make sure to refresh this page. Uh, and uh, it won't work for now because we need to add some kind of configuration in our code. So this package have been installed. Now let me run this project. So as it is running, let me add something in the module in terms of this package I've just uh, installed. Okay. So import store dev tools module from ngrx store dev tools. Okay. So let's copy it. Paste dot instrument max age 10 right so i'm going to explain you guys what does it mean by max age 10 we can add any value as we want over here and it should be in the positive ways right so this is the only configuration you would need to add in your app module and uh, make sure you import this package after installing it in your uh, using npm package module okay so it is being running now let's go let's refresh and it's it's refreshing actually let me open this up um okay so it this one counter this is the counter yeah fine so let's go let's here and increment you can see this is two this is three and I'm going to right click and Redux Dev Tool. This is just the location position of the window that is going to be opened for debugging your NGRX code, the state of your data. Okay. So I'm going to click on uh, to the right. Okay. So let's add over here. Right. So I think that's, that's pretty much good. Okay, so now you can see uh, we have this window, right? And this window is having a lot of options. Okay, so first one, let me refresh it. Okay, so now uh, the first thing here is the inspector NGRX store in it. This is the first uh, what what we call here first max age max age means that how many items should appear uh, over here here this is the first one that automatically gets triggered after the store is initialized and this is the action action is what was uh, what actions initially was uh, dispatched by default and this is the state no state existing and there are no differences because we haven't uh, dispatched any particular action to the store as of now so if i click on increment now you can see that this increment have been uh, performed this is the first uh, item right and this is uh, the difference 
so difference means that what was the previous value and what is the current value so there wasn't any previous value so that's why it is only showing two now and state and you can see that state what value was sent uh, what is the value of state currently existing in the counter variable okay so currently it is two and you can see it is two showing two here an action and this was the whole action that was passed to this particular reducer okay we pass the type of increment and the payload of two okay so uh, you if i go over here in the component and now you can see that we pass the type increment and the payload and it found out that it should be uh, two so it just returned to and this dispatch went to this reducer this one and uh, it it passed this state as a two um, uh, it's going to change the state and it has passed the type and uh, value to this action so the type is increment okay so if it, it is increment this is going to be returned and stored in this particular state okay so state that was initially zero so action dot payload that gave it to two and it becomes two so this two value is being stored in the store okay so now if i increment again you can see that uh this 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 have been passed earlier because we have we have clicked on this increment now this in below increment is the next uh, action we dispatch so if i click over here you can see now the this has been uh, passed as a type and this has been passed as a payload if i check out the state now the current value of counter is three difference previously the state was containing two and now it is three okay if i click on increment 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 now you can see that the, these states have been changing right so using this uh, tool you can uh, easily check out that which step causes any bug any problem if we face in terms of uh, compiling or fetching the data uh, you can check out which part uh, actually caused this problem okay so this is the action and uh, you can also check everything uh, in the form of chart you can also check it as a, as a form of raw if i check out the action and you can see this is the kind of tree and this is the raw you can check the type and payload if you want to copy it you can click on raw and you can have an editable objects of this particular action that was passed it is so small but uh, sometimes uh, in fact uh, usually actions are so big uh, um, not the type but the payloads are so big okay so these these are the increments so if i keep on clicking it so one two three four five six seven eight nine and i'm gonna click on 10 right so the last one is uh, 17 right and the first one is 2 if i click it again uh, last one is 19 and the first one is 3 uh, but the two have been removed the reason is i don't want to create a lot of items over here in the form of rows because um, i only require 10 items for me to debug these are enough so how these are controlling where i have said this should be 10 if you remember i set it in the code this is the max age if i change it to 5 there will be only 5 items if i change it to 100 there can be 100 items but i don't think the 100 items are required for you to debug your code right so uh, fine so uh, this is all about uh, this tool and uh, this is a so awesome tool it it is existing in the react but in react you don't need to add this package for it to work this package that i've just installed but for angular using ngrx if you want to use this uh, redux dev tool you need to install this package and add it over here okay so this is how you can debug your state in angular and uh, make sure you check out my other videos on angular i have created a lot of videos on angular architecture rxjs ngrx how you can create multiple reducer and a lot more things and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much guys for watching